Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I got another clutch of eggs today. Here is the female pastel het clown wrapped around her eggs like a good mom. She was bred to a spider clown. I checked on her last night at 2 a.m. and didn't see any eggs. This morning I found her like this. Now it's time to get mom off the eggs. I'm going to use a cloth to cover her. She's tired but still protective like any good mom. Good thing I have my cat like reflexes. Just kidding, but I'm a little nervous and the reason is I'm actually standing in a very tight space so there's really no room for me to move if she does decide to strike. Now that she's off the eggs, should go into a temporary tub for a quick soak in warm water to wash away any of the egg scent so that she will hopefully return to feeding. The eggs are beautiful. I got four clutches so far and the three most recent ones all have seven eggs. As always, I mark the eggs to know which side is up. They're all stuck together. I'm going to have to pull one of the eggs off in order to fit them into the egg box. This isn't hard to do, just needs to be careful doing it to not accidentally rip any of the eggs. There we go. Now I can put them all in the egg box. And of course, they're stuck to the paper. Not a big deal. They don't stick to the paper as much as they do to each other. Not to worry, it just takes a few seconds to peel the paper off the eggs. There now, done. See? Wasn't that difficult. Now I just have to move them into the egg box, making sure that none of the eggs touch the interior sidewalls of the box and they're not sitting too high that would touch the lid. Because the condensation would wick into or onto the eggshells and possibly drown the babies. Now let's candle them to make sure they're all healthy, strong, and viable. Let me give you a closer look this time. As you can see, there are veins. More veins. A network of veins. 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 And veins. That's awesome. Seven fertile eggs. Let me just center the eggs, then put in some straws to make sure they stay in place. This is the one that's most prone to roll since I pulled it off from the others. When they're stuck together, they can't roll. But I'll poke some straws in here anyway. Let me just put one more on this one. All right, now it's time to put them in the incubator and the 55 days to cut day countdown begins. I'm finally making use of my new cooler incubator. It's been about an hour since I last opened the door and you can see the temperature is holding steady and pretty consistent throughout and that's with the help of three fans. I want to stick a label on the most recent clutch And now it's just a matter of waiting. Waiting is the hardest part. Now before I end the video, I want to talk a little bit about genetics. Just uh, talk through what I'm anticipating. Um, do a little bit of genetics calculation here. So here we go. Uh, first of all, I just want to see what the odds are of hitting a clown. Just a clown in general, whether it's a regular clown, Pastel clown, spider clown, whatever. So the father of this clutch will start with the male. He's a spider clown. So spider is, I don't know whether you want to call it a dominant or co-dominant, but he's only got one copy of the spider gene. And the other one is normal or classic. He's a clown, visual clown. So I'm going to put two C's because Clown is a recessive gene and he needs two copies of the recessive gene in order to visually be, uh, to, to be a visual clown. 
Now the female, as you saw, she is a pastel, single gene pastel, not a super. She is het for clown, so she's only got one copy of the clown gene. And the other, the other gene on that allele, sorry, the other gene on that Loki is a normal. So in order to calculate for clown, well, we don't care about these because we're just looking for clowns. So I'm going to put an X in all these areas that are not clown related. The male, because he's visual, he's always going to be passing down a clown gene. So I'm going to put one there because that's my multiplier. You multiply anything by one, it doesn't do anything, right? Same here, no matter what, he's going to be passing down a clown gene. The female, on the other hand, the only way to get a clown is if she passes down her clown gene, and this doesn't matter. So, you know, the way I do it is I basically just take all the twos and multiply them. So in this case, there's only a there's only one two, so it's always one over the number of twos. So the chance of getting a clown is 50%. So now let's calculate the odds of hitting what is the best out of this clutch, which is going to be um, all the genes that are available here. So all the genes from the father, he's got a spider, so we want that. We don't want the normal. All the genes from the father here, again, doesn't really matter. He's always going to pass down one and only one. Uh, the best gene out of the female, the mother, well she's got the pastel, so we want that not the normal and again we need that copy of the clown gene so what, what are we gonna hit here well we're gonna hit a spider we're gonna hit a pastel and a clown from here and a clown copy from here make an individual clown so what we're looking for is basically a bumblebee clown and the odds of that, so we have one over two times two times two. So that's two to the power of three, which equals one over two times two is four. Four times two is eight, one over eight. So the odds of hitting a bumblebee clown is one out of eight. Uh, tra roughly translate to one out of eight eggs. So we got seven maybe I'll have a good chance of hitting this guy here. So, so wish me luck. Hey, so I wasn't lying when I said there's not a lot of space back here to work. With this pullout table and then this new rack, the camera was pretty much placed where I'm sitting now. So literally I had about 13 inches of space, 13 by 24 inches of space to stand and get the female off and shoot the whole video for you guys, but I managed to get it done. By the way, this rack is the new one, and part two of it will be posted very soon, so you'll want to stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed to see that. Well, that's all for now, and if you enjoy this video, please give me a like. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to be informed of future videos. Ring that notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time.